As the National Treasury Cabinet Secretary Jiguna Ndungu presented his over three-hour 2023-2024 budget proposal, keyboard warriors were busy thinking with their fingers. And as Teresa Mutai observes, the day offered good and rich fodder for the ever-critical cyber surfers. Every netizen has their own budget, so the national budget would definitely be a matter of discussion to the cyber surfers. So let's find out what they had to say. The budget day started off on a rather calm note, but as seconds became minutes, drama started unfolding. In the chilly morning, a protester decided to go on a solo mission to demonstrate outside the treasury building. In a few minutes, he was whisked away by the police. I am ready to die for justice. Justice is indivisible. But the protest was not the subject that captured netizens' attention. Rather, it was the fact that this was not the protesters' first time protesting outside the government building. Justice anywhere. Oh, yeah. to justice anywhere. Give me death. Oh, give me freedom. Roshan asked, He ni marangapia huyu mtu kushikwa? I like his courage. Wine, who was captivated by his voice, tweeted, That guy doesn't need a speaker. Thiaka, did they need that huge mariamu for one guy? It seems so, Thiaka. But shortly after, it was time for the ceremonial briefcase to emerge from the treasury building, escorted together with its holder, CS Njiguna Ndungu, to parliament in a grand Passat car. And this evoked a lot of conversations online. Prince wondered, Mbona hii kusoma budget huwa na show of mingi? Maureen curiously, why all this security? Benjamin jokingly, ah, siangetembea. Kenyan with a very keen eye tweeted, Also, please note, hata serikali haije apply new number plates kwa magari. Oops, I guess the government ought to do something. Finally, it was the moment of truth and every member of parliament was already in their seats. But soon, the budget opponents walked out. This was definitely bound to ignite wildfires. Rush asked, why did they attend at first? Marvin responded, they are just being dramatic. Anonymous Puzzled tweeted, they were present today to be absent again. George, ending the discussion, wrote, Not the first time, but the business goes on. Well, winding up, we definitely wouldn't have such amazing content without the ever-present and nosy journalist on the ground who kept us in the know. For that, we salute them. Well, that's just a few of their comments that made it to your screens. I promise you there's more on social media realms. For Prime Edition, I am Teresa Mutai. <laughs> Keyboard warriors, uh, the remarks are quite interesting. Uh, we continue now with the analysis of the post budget, and we have Ispak right here in studio, and Regina has that interview for you.